year to year, though you may not gain size as rapidly, like it is kind of a diminishing return situation, but year to year, even though you stay pretty close to the same size, like you may only make marginal weight gains, your physique will kind of continue to develop in a little bit more of like a defined, just, you know, more cut up kind of way. I mean, look at, um, I don't want to glaze, of course, but like look at Chris Bumstead year to year to year on stage at the, at all the Olympia shows, you know, like, of course it's, it's a little bit different because each day he's not in the exact same like shape. Like one day at one show, he may be holding a little bit more water, just very slightly. But if you compare these shots, like, especially when he's doing the same pose, like, I mean, he's the same guy. He looks very similar, right? But even though he hasn't necessarily made massive size gains, he does gradually get a more and more defined shape. And that goes for, you know, I'll insert any, you know, bodybuilder over the course of years. He's just the first one to come to mind. So, even though eventually I may say, okay, a lean... Because I think on this cut I'll probably be a lean... Or like a walking around lean... Probably mid-230s. Like me at 235, just walking around like a normal dude. During this diet, like not water cutting or anything. I will be pretty lean. So I think... Earth? I don't know. A lean 245, like a real lean 245, that's probably getting close to where I want to end up. But I'm also not totally sure. You know, I'll have to see when I get there. So as much as I do make it about size, because right now, I mean, that's my fucking goal. 